Hello grade 10 learners, I'm Ms. Martins and in today's video we're going to be going over what you can expect for term 2 physical sciences. I'll be going over what the different topics are this term, the subtopics, what you need to know for each topic, I give you formulas and in this video I'm going to tell you how to prepare for these topics as well. So I'll give you lots of teacher tips on how to prepare coming from me being a teacher myself and I will show you all of this in free document that I've created for you. It's available on my website Ms. Martins .co.za. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please make sure to subscribe because all the topics that I mentioned in today's video, I will be making more videos on those topics if I don't have videos on them already in my channel. Before we get into the video and into the topics, I just want to let you know that the order of the topics that I mentioned in this video are in line with those listed in what we call the grade 10 ATPs. Now, what the ATPs are, it's basically a document that the department publishes, so the department gives it to teachers gives it to schools, it's free on the internet for everyone to see basically, and they say in the document the order that schools should teach the topics in. But your school might not teach it in this order. Your teacher might teach it in a different order, that's okay. So you just need to double check the order of topics. If your teacher's teaching it in the order like the ATPs are or in a different order, double check it with your school and with your teacher. So the document that you'll see behind me in this video is a document that I made. It's for you to download for free from my website, missmartins.co.za. Basically, it lists all the topics, all the subtopics, the different formulas you need to know, all of that stuff. So you can get that for free on my website. Just click the link in the description box below. And I made the document like a checklist, basically, so that you can tick off the different topics as you get them or as you go through them in class. I'll show you what that looks like now. So this is the list of topics that I'll be going over in this video. This is what you can expect in term two. I'll show you the different subtopics and I'll let you know how you can prepare for each of these topics. So because most of this is new to you, because you're in grade 10, obviously, I will let you know how you can prepare in terms of maybe going back to your grade nine natural sciences textbooks or books. But most importantly, I'll show you maybe some of my YouTube videos that you can watch to help you prepare for these topics. But the best thing that you can do is ahead of your teacher going through it in class, just read through the textbook, the pages in your textbook, just so you're familiar with the terminology, the different formulas and stuff, so that when you hear it for the first time with by your teacher, it actually already is familiar to you. So again, just a reminder, this entire document that you see behind me, all of this is available for free on my website. Just go to the link in the description box below to get hold of it. I basically outline everything that you need to know. So the first topic that you should be starting with, that I think a lot of you have already started with, based on the comments that I see on my channel, is matter and materials, states of matter. Now, this is a nice chemistry topic. A lot of this is theory-based, so you're going to have to study, learn, learn definitions, learn words, learn concepts. Not a lot of calculations that happen here, but it's still a very nice topic. So you will learn about matter and what matter is. The fact that matter occupies volume, it has mass, that's matter, and you learn about the different properties of matter or materials. So, for example, you'll learn about things being brittle, you'll learn about things being malleable, ductile, you'll learn about things like density, melting points, boiling points. You also understand or look at what is the difference between a pure substance and a mixture. So a pure substance is basically either an element that you see on the periodic table like hydrogen or oxygen or iron. So all the elements in the periodic table or compounds. So for example, CO2, H2O, all of those things, NO2, those are pure substances. Mixtures, slightly different. So for example, air, the air around you is actually a mixture. You might think, ma'am, how is it a mixture? It's a mixture of all the different gases. So you should know that in air, we have oxygen, we have nitrogen, we have hydrogen, we have CO2, and a lot of smaller gases as well. So when I say smaller, I mean in smaller percentages. So air is a mixture. Lots of things are mixtures. You get obvious mixtures like a pizza, for example, can be classified as a mixture, which is a silly one, or maybe spaghetti with like chicken in it. That's a mixture. And you get more complicated mixtures like carbonated water or water with bubbles in it that's technically a mixture so we learn about all of that stuff we learn about homogeneous versus heterogeneous mixtures 
all that stuff. So I already do have some videos on this and you can see that behind me, like I link the videos so you can go and type in that playlist on my channel and my videos will pop up. The second topic that we will be doing is called the kinetic molecular theory. Now, again, this is something that maybe you covered already in grade eight or grade nine natural sciences, but we go in a bit more depth. So we look at particle nature of matter. We look at diffusion, how particles move. We look at the three states of matter. I hope you know what those are. We've got solid, liquid, and gas. You need to be able to take those three different states of matter and compare them in a table. And tell me, for example, in a solid, the particles are packed quite densely. So very small spaces between them, densely packed. Gases, the particles are very far apart. They're not packed densely at all. So comparing them like that in a table, the different properties. You need to know freezing points, melting points, boiling points. And I know at this stage, a lot of you might just think of boiling point being 100 degrees Celsius. That is the boiling point of H2O, of water. And you should, or you may also be doing a prac where you look or you test the boiling points of water. And it might not actually be 100. It might be 99, according to your results. And that's because the water that you use might not be pure water, a whole bunch of things like that. But it's quite interesting. You need to be able to draw and interpret. So interpret means they give you a curve and you must look at it and read off values. Um, heating and cooling curves. I do have um, videos on these already. You need to be able to state the phase changes. So for example, if we go from solid to liquid, that's melting. If you go from liquid to gas, that is boiling or evaporation. You need to know those. You need to be able to define the different states of matter according to the kinetic molecular theory. All of these things you will be taught and I do have videos for it. So you can see I have playlists, I have introductory video, video on the heating curve. I even have practice exam question videos. So you can go watch that now already even to prepare. Then we look at the atom. You look at the structure of an atom, atomic number, mass number, number of electrons, protons, neutrons. You learn about something called isotopes and relative atomic masses. These are very cool sections. And I already have a few videos on this. So you can go check that out as well if you want to prepare. But I do write here that the playlist will be updated continuously. So at the moment, there are a few videos in the playlist. But as the term goes on, I hope to create a lot more videos for you guys. Then you look at the periodic table. So you can see a lot of chemistry this term everything about the periodic table you need to know i do yeah this is what i mean by i give it to you like a checklist you can tick 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 as you do the topics you can add in extra formulas and things that you need to know so it's a good idea to print this out and stick it in your book again there are some videos there then chemical bonding another nice important topic it does lead on to a topic that you do in grade 11 so make sure you are focused when doing this topic Make sure you practice your Lewis dot diagrams very, very well. I do, once again, have videos on this, so you can go check that out for yourself. We've got three types of bonding. Covalent, okay, which is non-metal and a non-metal. We've got ionic, which is a metal and a non-metal. And we've got metallic bonding, which is within a metal. So you will learn those three types. Again, lots of videos for you to go and check out. Then we've got physical and chemical change, more chemistry. And then finally, last but definitely not least, the quantitative aspects of chemical change. Now, I like to call this topic, and lots of schools like to call this topic, stoichiometry. And basically, this is the calculation part of chemistry. A lot of people struggle with this. A lot of people are kind of like, oh, because most of the term, like all of the stuff, is mostly theory although obviously you have to understand the concepts but then you get to stoichiometry and you actually have to do some calculations now i have a lot of videos on stoichiometry a whole playlist there's a nice video called the introduction an important introduction to stoichiometry so you can go look at that and i also have a guide that i created for stoichiometry you can see here I gave a little sneak peek into the guide. You can see the different types of calculations I give here. And you can find that on my website um, if you want to take a look at 
that and if you want to maybe get that for yourself at some point but just be aware that it is there for you and that is basically all the topics that you need to know for term three i know it seems like a lot but this these are nice topics and they flow into one another and they are connected to one another so i really hope you enjoy this term comment down below if you want to see anything in particular from me and i can't wait to see you in a video very soon